What's up everybody, it's your boy, the one and only gamer, and today we're gonna do our third episode of the 5 minute gaming news. And if you like videos like this, don't forget to elbow drop that subscribe button and slap that like and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Let's start this whole thing, baby. Okay, let's start with the first news. Amazon Friends briefly listed the PlayStation 5 price and release date before taking that information out of the listing. This comes via Ben Geskin on Twitter who stumbled on the listing prior to the Amazon scrubbing it. He took screenshots however and those aren't going anywhere because this is what Amazon Friends have to say. The PlayStation 5 price leaked wasn't accidental, but a doctor's screenshot. The fake listing circulated online for a few days before Amazon Friends confirmed it wasn't genuine. Sony did list the PlayStation 5 and PlayStation Digital Edition and a new accessories on Amazon in various markets, without revealing cost detail or launch information. The leak said that the PlayStation 5 price is going to be $499.99 euros and the digital PlayStation 5 edition is going to be $399.99 euros which when you change it into US dollars is going to be $549.99 and the digital edition is going to be $449.99 but to be honest guys I don't think we're gonna see prices in between like that I think the PlayStation 5 is gonna be $500 and the all digital PlayStation 5 is going to be 400 but we'll see in the future. Our next news. Resident Evil 8 Village is being cancelled for the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. As the dust settled following is revealed a Sony much anticipated PS5 event, Resident Evil 8 is the game of many folks leaps. Of course, much of what was shown was not exactly unexpected, as we'll have numerous leaks the past few months that have pointed us in the direction of 2021 release, snowy terrains, werewolves, and witches. Though most of these leaks have hit the nail on the head, one such part that turned out to be false is that the game is cross-generation between that of both PS4 and PS5 of the Xbox One and the Xbox Series X. Thus Gullin has taken to Twitter to offer some contest as to why plans seems to have changed at Catcom with regard to Resident Evil 8's development. And this is what he has to say. I got some clarification on why they made Resident Evil 8 next gen only when it was cross gen previously. With the update graphic fidelity overhaul they're doing, the way Resident Evil was designed lead to past gen consoles having a lot of popping long texture loads. The game have you traveling through most of the village and had a lot of low zones. Because there is a bigger focus on exploration, this will lead to the last gen console version having noticeable issues. And it was holding back how pretty they could make the game. So guys, if you wanted to play Resident Evil 8 on your PS4 or your Xbox One, I'm sorry to tell you that it's only gonna be in the next gen consoles. Our last news. Respawn just dropped a big bundle of news about its popular free-to-play battle royale shooter Apex Legend. During a live stream event hosted by EA, Apex is coming to the Nintendo Switch this fall. Playing Apex up until now has meant camping in front of your TV or rigging up something on your phone from a cloud streaming service, which in a game as twitchy and latency sensitive as Apex is an ideal. This will finally bring some mobility into the mix. Also coming this fall, crossplay. Up until this point, playing on your PS4 men playing solely with other PS4 players. Want to play with a buddy who only has a Xbox? Buy a Xbox. Once they fire up crossplay, however, Xbox, PS4, and PC and Switch player will be able to play together on the same server. 
Specific details on how it actually worked are still on a bit light, but it's officially on the way. Previously only made available to PC players via EA's Origin Store, Apex will finally be making its way to Steam. So this means soon this fall, if you wanna play Apex while you're taking a dump, you will be able to. <laughs> Okay guys, that's it for this video. If you like videos like this, don't forget to like, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos, and remember to elbow drop that subscribe button, and I see you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching. Later.